With Filmora's picture masking feature, you can hide, duplicate, reveal or edit your footage by selecting a specific piece of video or using video overlays. You can choose from a variety of pre-built shapes such as rectangle, circle, double lines, single line or you can import your own design to use as a mask. The first thing I am going to do with this clip is add a speed ramping effect to it. So I will activate the speed ramping feature and then select the hero moment preset from the speed ramping tab. So here is what we have got. I'll now duplicate the clip and apply a grainy blur effect to the bottom layer. To access the mask settings, I'll double click on the top layer and navigate to the video tabs mask sub tab. Now I'm going to select the rectangle preset. I will scroll down here and set values for the mask. To transform the mask, use the rotate, scale and position attributes. The blur strength parameter can be used to regulate the amount of edge feathering. You can also use this control here in the preview window to alter the amount of feathering. The radius parameter governs the mask shape's corner radius. Let me turn off the bottom layer so that you can see it clearly. The Invert Mask checkbox gives you the ability to invert the mask shape. If you want to save the current settings as custom preset, click on the Save as Custom button and assign a name for the preset. At the top, we have this Add button that you can use to keyframe the mask shape. I'll make sure that Playhead is at the beginning and then I'll click on Add to create a keyframe. I'll jump to 3 seconds and change the shape of the mask. Now I will move forward to 4 seconds and click on the add button to create a keyframe. To create the last keyframe, I'll go to 720 and change the shape. Let's play to see the animation. If you want to delete a mask, make sure the clip is selected and then click on this None button. There are some more presets here that you can use to create a mask.
if I want to use an image as a mask, I can click on the import button and then import the image. Filmora only allows PNG file format for creating an image mask. This was the image that was used as the image mask. As you can see, Wondershare has greatly enhanced the masking feature and introduced mask animation. But it still lacks the ability to draw a freehand mask with the pen tool. I am hopeful that in future they will include this option as well. You can also use the single line and double line mask presets to show before and after version of a clip. Here is a clip that I color corrected with Filmora's color correction tools. To compare results, I'll drag another copy of this clip to the timeline and align it with the clip that's currently there. Now I'll go to the mask tab and add a single line mask. To animate the mask, I'll drag this line all the way to the left and then click add to add a keyframe. Now I'll move forward in the timeline by 3 seconds and drag the line all the way to the right to make another keyframe. I'm going to play the video to show you the comparison. So that's a look at how you can use a line mask to display before and after versions of a clip's output.